In times of past futurist thought. Blimps and airships would be the transportation machine of the future. They could fly long distances with easily transport a relatively large amount of peoples. Nowadays only time you probably have seen blimps is over a sports stadium for provided TV coverage. Taking a look back at the history of how these airships came out. In 1852, Henry Gifford built the first powered airship, which consisted of 143 feet long. Cigar-shaped, gas-filled bag with a propeller, powered by a three-horsepower steam engine. Later, in 1900, Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin of Germany invented the first rigid airship. An airship, or a blimp is a type of aerostat, or lighter than aircraft, that can navigate through the air under its own power. Blimps rely on the pressure of the lifting gas usually helium, rather than hydrogen. Blimps are the most commonly built airships. Because they are relatively easy to build and easy to transport once deflated. In order to understand how these machines work, let's take a look at their main part. The main part is the envelope. The part that contains low denser helium gas. There is a suspension cable, which holds up the cabin where the pilot and passenger seat. Let's explore what inside the envelope. Here is a couple of airbags, called ballonet. A ballonet is an airbag inside the outer envelope of an airship. When inflated, reduces the volume available for the lifting gas, making it more denser. Because air is also denser than the lifting gas, inflating the ballonet reduces the overall lift. While deflating it increases lift. In this way, the ballonet can be used to adjust a lift as required. By releasing air inside the ballonet to adjust the altitude, the flight control surfaces, which are rudders and elevators, for direction controls, which controlled by the pilots just like an airplane. These are the engines. The engines are typically attached to the envelope. The drag force is created by air resistance when an airship attempts to move. The airship will accelerate under the influence of its engines until it reaches an airspeed at which the thrust is generating equals the drag force upon it. Airships are generally lifted through the capture of helium gas, which is less dense than atmospheric air causing the airship to generate a lift force. Generally, there are two types of airships, the rigid and non-rigid. The main difference is the presence of support structure. Airships that use helium have a lifting capacity of 1.2 kg per meter cube. Airships can hold a lots of helium gas in the range of thousands of cubic meters. This allows carrying a pretty intensive loads. The airship can stay in flight for hours or even days with low fuel consumption. This is the gondola, where pilots and passengers sit. The new blimps gondola is made completely of a carbon fiber composite that weighs in at 2,626 pounds, making it more than 800 pounds lighter than previous models. With seating for 12 and panoramic windows all around, the new blimp offers a comfortable ride that provides spectacular aerial views for its passenger. 